this class you work out one problem a balanced star connected load takes 9 amps from a balanced 3 phase 4 wire system IR is equal to 9 angle 0 degrees IY is equal to 9 angle 240 degrees and IB is equal to 9 angle 120 degrees the question is calculate the zero seconds positive seconds and the negative seconds currents first we will calculate the zero seconds currents IR naught is equal to IY naught is equal to IB naught the formula is 1 by 3 into IR plus IY plus IB substitute IR, IY, IB in this equation we got IR naught is equal to IY naught is equal to IB naught is equal to 0 0 seconds current is 0 next we will calculate the positive seconds current IR1 IR1 is equal to formula 1 by 3 into IR plus AIY plus A square IB here A is equal to 1 angle 120 degrees A square is equal to 1 angle 240 degrees or 1 angle minus 120 degrees substitute all the values in this equation IR1 is equal to 9 angle 0 degree nams the next is IY1 is equal to A square into IR1 A square is equal to 1 angle 240 degrees IR1 is equal to 9 angle 0 degrees IY1 is equal to 9 angle 240 degrees similarly IB1 is equal to A into IR1 A is equal to 1 angle 120 degrees IR1 is equal to 9 angle 0 therefore IB1 is equal to 9 angle 120 degrees here IY1 is equal to 9 angle 240 degrees IB1 is equal to 9 angle 120 degrees IR1 is equal to 9 angle 0 degrees so IR1 is equal to IR IY1 is equal to IY IB1 is equal to IB the conclusion is in a balanced three phase system positive seconds values are equal to IR, IY and IB and the negative and zero seconds currents are zero in a balanced three phase four wire system the next question is this is a three phase balanced four wire system if you remove the phase carrier in the Y phase IY is equal to 0 that is branch current IY is equal to vector sum of 0 seconds current plus positive seconds current plus negative seconds current if we calculate 0 seconds plus positive seconds plus negative seconds current should be equal to 0 first we calculate IY naught IY naught is equal to 1 by 3 into IR plus IY plus IB so IY is equal to 0 Therefore, IY0 is equal to 1 by 3 into 9 angle 0 degrees plus 9 angle 120 degrees. IY0 is equal to 3 angle 60 degrees. The next is IR1. IR1 is equal to 1 by 3 into IR plus A into IY plus A square IB. Here A IY is 0. Therefore, IR1 is equal to 1 by 3 IR 9 angle 0 degrees plus a square 1 angle 240 degrees into IB 9 angle 120 degrees therefore IR1 is equal to 6 angle 0 degrees once I calculate IR1 I can calculate IY1 IY1 is equal to A square into IR1 A square is 1 angle 240 degrees into IR1 IR1 is 6 angle 0 degrees that is equal to 6 angle 240 degrees that is IY1 next I calculate IR2 IR2 is equal to 1 by 3 into IR plus A square IY plus AIB A square IY is equal to 0 therefore IR2 is equal to 1 by 3 into IR 9 angle 0 degrees plus A 1 angle 120 degrees into IB 9 angle 120 degrees IR2 is equal to 3 angle minus 60 degrees how I can easily calculate IY2 IY2 is equal to A into IR2 so A is 1 angle 120 degrees into IR2 this is IR2 IR2 is equal to 3 angle minus 60 degrees this is 3 angle minus 60 degrees so IY2 is equal to 3 angle 60 degrees 
So I y naught is equal to 3 angle 60 degrees. I y1 is equal to 6 angle 240 degrees. I y2 is equal to 3 angle 60 degrees. I y is equal to I y naught plus I y1 plus I y2 that is equal to 0. This is a beauty of symmetrical component theory. So in the first case, if a three phase balanced four wire system, positive sequence current only exists, negative and zero sequence current is zero. The next case, I y, if you remove the phase carrier, I y is equal to zero, we know it very well. We can prove it using the symmetrical component theory, I y is equal to zero. With this I conclude my lecture, thanks for listening.